guys so i hope you enjoy part one and two of how to mold and style your short hair now i wanted to bring you another video um i have a wig unit that is a lot similar to what you see here uh, which is a pixie cut so for some of my ladies that um are looking to have a short hairstyle or in between they just really don't know how to work with their regular hair I retail uh, on my website at Deconstruct by Christina. Um, it's a wig on there called Miss Sass. And right now, she's on sale right now for about, I uh, believe, $195, starting at $195, um, you know, plus shipping. It's a great pre-manufactured wig. So what this wig is, it's pretty much, I've taken a, a great quality Remy 100% hair, um, and I put my signature cut on it um, and curl. Now, with this unit, what you're going to love about it is that you don't have to put any heat on this. It's all about, remember in the video how I showed you, with my perfect pixie, you don't even have to put heat on it. You could do the very same thing with this Miss Sass wig, and I'm going to show you. So, um, with Miss Sass, you're going to put her on. Now, I'm going to post a video um, of what she looks like when she arrives. She looks a lot different. She's... She's all pretty, like something like this. But I'm going to show you how you can mold your wig and it'll look just like how my hair is right now. Okay? Prepare to be wild. So we'll do a part one and a part two of this. I had already kind of started putting mousse in her. And I said, you know what? Oh, let me stop and make a video so they can actually see this and they don't think I'm, I'm lying about. This is what you can do. So I've cut her. Now when I, I do a general cut, however, I do leave it a little longer in certain areas. So people that I'm mailing this to can go and they can shape it up in these areas. So I leave them purposely a little longer in the back. Some people like it a little more neat. Some people not so much. Um, so let me just hurry up and do this video because last time they cut me off. So remember yesterday, I showed you how to do the mold. We're gonna work it through just like we do with our regular hair. Push it all the way to the front. That's where all my framing is gonna be. Make sure I get it all down in the back. Plug it on the neck. Let me see how I have hair. Well, if I have hair that I want to kind of go behind there, that's what I'm gonna do. That's why you wanna make sure you get a good mirror. Let's see. Once again, I need to clean my mirror, but I left so late, I didn't get a chance to. All right, and remember, we want to do that counterclockwise or clockwise swirl. That's going to help us be able to have that nice texture in the middle and give us something interesting. So when we go to wrap our hair down, it's just going to flow so nicely. Now, you want to make sure if you have, you know, a lot of hair, you want to try to get your hair as flat as possible. So you want to want to cornrow your hair to the back when you put this on. Make sure you have it as flat as it can be. And um, because these are kind of like one size fit all, you have to do a lot of molding in this process. That's what helps these sides lay low. So if you have a razor comb, I'll put a general cut in there. But you're going to want to sit up there and you're definitely going to want to um, thin the hair out just a little bit. But I promise you, you're going to love it. So remember I told you yesterday, go according to where the top of your arch is. That's where your framing will start. So we're just doing little C's. Almost like. Like a little backward C. I think I'm gonna pull this forward. Sometimes you can go forward, sometimes you go go backwards. Real simple, let me get a little closer. Look at how that hair moves. Again, this is a wig. Isn't that amazing? Then I'm gonna come to the other side And do my framing look just a backward C that's all I'm not doing this just a little bit of a bump 
little bit of a bump. C, C. And at this point, you could decide if you want to add another one. Which I like mine to go backwards, but you can bring it forward. You do whatever you want to do. And then now what we're going to do is for this, we're going to bring our middle part up. Now it depends on how deep you want yours. So you can get real fancy with it, but I'm just going to bring it down just a little bit like another C. So if you want to create space in there, if this is too thick in that area, a matter of fact, I'm going to move this back just a little bit just so you guys can see. It doesn't have to be. There we go. That's better. See, I'm creating a little space right there. But look at that. This is on a wig, y'all. And it looks just like my hair. Because it's all in a cut. I could put a perfect pixie cut right on a wig and you'll never know okay bam ow so that's the beginning of our mold you want to make sure that lays flat if you want to go in there and do your squigglies you could do that and what i'm going to do is i'm going to wrap the hair um, I think I'm going to go ahead and use some neck strips. Now, remember on the first one, I said you should mummy wrap it, which you can. If you want to hold down your details, you definitely want to fold these over. Here you go. Like so. We want to lay it flat, which most of the time... You don't have to mummy wrap it if you don't want to, but it's great if you want your details to hold. And if you have like a lot of hair under your head, you definitely want to give yourself a tight mold just like this because it's going to hold those sides in. Okay. We're going to sit under a hooded dryer for about 20 to 30 minutes. Um, because this is a wig, it takes a little longer to dry. So probably about 15 minutes into your, um, drying period, you want to take off your wraps and you want to sit. This is the key. Like if you want your details to still lay on your neck, sit with your neck kind of down. Okay. Now I was saying yesterday, if you don't have a hooded dryer at home, invest in one of these It's a heated bonnet. All you need is your regular blow dryer. You hook it up like this, you put it on. It's a great space saver if you're traveling. <laughs> That's the only thing, you gotta get it on there right. Anyways, see, bam. And you're sitting up here and you're drying. So. Tune in for part two. I'm going to show you how to style your wig without any type of heat. It's just like the mold I showed you. So please, if you're not following my page, like and subscribe on my channel on YouTube. As well as follow me on Instagram at ChristinaBenjamin82. I'm also on Facebook under Christina Benjamin or Shirtik Salon. Um, if you are looking for future appointments or you would like to order one of my wigs, you can go to Deconstruct by Christina, or you can go call 248-986-8761. Look, I look forward to working with you guys, and I can't wait for you guys to see what Miss Sass looks like. Make sure you go order her now. She's on sale for a limited time right now for a $195 plus shipping, okay? Y'all have a great day.